conhece? Não, tu também não. Você é tudo rica, né? Não. Ah, sei lá, pelo cabelo. Você foi qual o problema? Já viu o rico namorar pobre? Hit hard suplex, done it when I break neck. Show love, get checks, got him like who's next? Catch me at the common house, blown big dope by the ounce. Ow. Move hard, polo, bend on my dolo. See me in the dojo, Marco no polo. Catch me at the common house, blown big dope by the ounce. Ow. See me at the playground where they go spray rounds. Know I've been around town, summer hits around sound. Catch me at the common house, blown big dope by the ounce. Ow. Mario flow Luigi, dripping wet Fiji. Hit him with the squeegee, feeling all her GGs. a listing appointment at 10 o'clock and it's like right down the street super close to um, my office so I have like about 20 minutes to kind of like prepare and get my mindset right I've done the CMA yesterday so I have all the paperwork in my bag um, from yesterday so what I did is I cleaned out some comps and then also obviously the listing contract consumer notice estimated seller cost um, and then I put um, the let paint and the seller property disclosure on this side, my stuff on this side. And um, what else I start doing is I got this clipboard from Joey. So I print out the um, information from public record and then I will label like their square footage, how many bedrooms they have and kind of verify that information with the seller because sometimes it is different like from public record, it could be smaller than how big it actually is. And then I verify the zoning. I verify if it's like a duplex, is it like legally zoned as a duplex and all that kind of stuff. And I will also ask them a list of questions to qualify the property. Instance, like how old is the roof? How old is water heater? Has all the windows being replaced? Stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm pretty much prepared and it's not that far away, um, but really excited to go on this listing appointment um so i print out like three comps but i remember last year i sold a similar house two blocks this way i forgot the property address so i'm gonna look it up um and then at 12 o'clock i have someone to come in and do a d package so like a closing and at five o'clock I have another listing appointment, but I'm also trying to get, you know, all my follow-ups done, expires, cancel listing, my admin work with all my actives and also the ones that are about to close. I just got to my office. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do the reason why I like to be a listing agent versus a buyer's agent. So if you're new, you guys probably already know in school that a real estate agent can be separate as a buyer's agent or a listing agent, or it can be both. Like you can choose to work with buyers and seller at the same time. Typically from year one to year five, mostly majority of the agents are working with buyers or renters because those are just a lot easier when you buy leads. 85 or 90% of the time are buyer leads. And then you start working with first time home buyer or investor. And then once those buyer of yours are ready to sell, then you start taking listings and do listings. But people also know in this business, listings also are the game because once you have listing, you are gonna get a lot of buyer leads or buyer who wants to see your listing. You know, listings are the resources for different brokerage. For me as an agent that I wanted to focus mostly on listing is because three reasons. And number one, I think it's a lot more efficient. Working with sellers, usually when they sell houses, if you can identify they are a qualified seller that they have to sell and they're willing to sell their house for fair market value, 
typically that's a done deal like they're willing to accept an offer if you know how to you know negotiate how to pick up the best offer among them all to use a good pricing strategy to put them on the market typically that's a paycheck for you three months or two months down the road buyers it's definitely different um, factors for example are they a true buyer do they really have to buy or are they qualified buyer what they get fired from their jobs are they gonna get the loan approved. There are just a lot of variabilities, you know, variables with working with buyers. And the second reason being a listing agent is a lot better is you can control your schedule. So working with buyers a lot of time, they want to see houses during the weekend or you have to host open houses during the weekend. And those are not very ideal for people who like me because I have a very, um, like a very similar schedule every day. My daily routine every Monday till like Friday are typically the same. And then I schedule my appointments every like 2 p.m. or 7 p.m. every day. And I only work half day on Saturday and I don't work on Sunday. So I like to have the same routine, but working with buyers doesn't give you an option. If your buyer wants to see a house, literally next two hours and you know you wanted to work with them you probably have to show them that house since the house just came on the market so those are the things that being a listing agent is a lot easier because when you are trying to schedule a listing appointment with the seller i usually schedule it like 48 hours out or 24 hours out i try to meet them maybe the next day or you know in a few days so that way i can get prepared the seller can get prepared for listing their house and they typically value your time a lot more if they want to cancel it they always will call you to reschedule or to cancel the listing appointment and the third reason I want to be a listing agent is definitely when working with listing agent typically I found myself dealing with a lot older um, demographic of people uh, usually majority of the people who are rich and have equities are like my grandma grandpa level so if you guys like see in my office I always have clients coming in for settlement or you know just come in and talk to me most of them average of my clients are between like 60 to 70 year old I had a couple sellers who are almost like 90 years old I love working with older people I mean they're they're they have a sense of humor and they're very respectful um, they listen to you they let you do your job and they actually respect that you're young and then you hustle a lot you know like older people are they're just like really cute so that's the third reason I actually love being a listing agent however if you are a buyer's agent most of the time you're finding yourself working with like Millennials because they're first-time home buyer they've just had a job for two years and ready to have a family so those are the demographic of you know clients that you're going to have and I know in this video, I talked about three reasons I want to be a listing agent. So in the next come up videos, I will give you guys three pros about being a buyer's agent as well. It's not like listing agents like all good things. There are definitely, you know, flaws about being a listing agent. There's definitely headaches and troubles and, you know, all that things. Also, I will conclude in the next video when I talk about being a buyer's agent. So if you watch until this far, make sure that you comment fortune cookie down below and subscribe to my channel. We just hit 10,000 followers. I'm super excited. You know, I am going to plan a lot more content for you guys and just film a lot more videos, try to upload every two to three days. So thank you so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.